It's the final day of September and racing takes place out at Fairview, Monday the 30th of September 2024. Eight races on the card. Race number one gets underway at 10 past 12 and that is over the 2,200 metre trip. We begin with a conditional maiden. Joining me on the line is Grant Paddock and uh, Grant, how are you doing? Morning, Rahil. Morning, Panthers. Yeah, all good. Uh, lovely, a typical Port Elizabeth day, blustery and very, very cold. So, uh, yeah, it's a lovely weekend, I suppose, eh? <laughs> well, let's get straight into it. And uh, race number one, 10 past 12. Uh, Angel of My Heart, your favourite here, at 11 to 10 for Gavin Smith and Craig Zaki. It's 14 to 10, Crimson Comet. 5 to 1, Fearless Badger. 6 to 1, he's a goal. And then uh, the bottom two, Lord Capulet and Dirty Mimosa. All right, double figure odd scratch number seven, Sister Midnight. Now, Grant, this race, it's, uh, it's not a strong race to get proceedings off. And uh, Angel of My Heart finished fourth last time out here at Hollywood Beth Gravel behind Elusive Bell. The filly that finished second in the race in the form of uh, Konda Ekukanyeni did come out to win. And I see that she's fancy to run well on Sunday at Hollywood Beth Gravel. So uh, what's your thoughts um, on this filly in the first? Yeah, she's got the form. There's no doubt she's got the form. She's been Joburg, Durban, now Port Elizabeth in a fairly short period of time. So um, we've got to see how she goes. The stable is a little bit out of form at the moment. Um, Gav's battling with a with a with a couple of I think two weeks without a winner, and that's you know that's very it's almost unheard of for his yard. But he's going through quite a time at the moment. So, um, but you've got to respect the form. The form is there. It's a bad maiden field. I like this horse, Crimson Comet. I think he's found the right race, to be very honest with you. He's got Richard up from a decent draw. Stays very well. The 2200 is a, he's a big plodder. Um, but he, he probably looks like the best bet on the card for me, to be honest with you. A second favourite. I see he's shortened into 14 to 10 now. I think he'll take a bit of beating. Stable companion. He's a goal coming back from a break. And he will be, he'll be, he'll be there and thereabouts. And obviously, fearless Badger just got caught late last time out. The twenty-two hundred could be a question mark there, but real. Yeah, I, I'm in the camp of Crimson Comet. Yeah, he's probably a bipod banker for me, and I'm going to tip it five, four, one, and two. Yeah, certainly not a race to get overly excited about. But number five, Crimson Comet is the top one. Race number two next, and this is the start of the place accumulator. Twelve forty-five is the off time. It is a conditional maiden this time over the one thousand meter trip. And uh, your favourite in race number two is number one, Colonel Green at 22 to 10. Serendipitous is at 5 to 2, along with uh, Lucky Spirit. But uh, just having a look here, I see that Lucky Spirit has been scratched. So uh, the markets will certainly adjust itself. It's 4 to 1, Smart View. And then it is 6 to 1, and better bar those. Now, race number two, this horse, Colonel Green, has had a number of opportunities to get it right. 16 starts to be exact, but... It's not a race that's uh, going to get the heart uh, pumping. Yeah. Nah, it's not a car that's going to get the heart pumping. Real. It's, a, it's another a scrappy maiden race. This Philly serendipitous coming back from a, a, a long layoff. I know she's done her work. She is ready to win a race like this. The stable is quite confident of running a big race. Newton Heath from a one draw with Louis up shows a lot of pace back back to a thousand meters. That will suit him. I don't think the back is the 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 thousand meters uh, trip will suit Colonel Green actually. I think he needs it a touch further than that. And then Smart View shows a lot of early speed, and you probably find Richard trying to steal this race. He's got 56 on his back. He's getting four kilos from Colonel Green, and I, I don't think Colonel Green can give him four kilos. So uh, Smart View should run in front of Colonel Green. Uh, tricky kind of a race where I'm tipping Newton Heath uh, to beat Serendipitous, Smart View, and Colonel Green. Yeah, Newton Heath, the top pick for Grant in race number two. That could be tremendous value at around 6-1 to one in the market. Loom Kortwa takes a ride for Gavin Smith. Moving along to race number three now. And race three will be the start of the pick six. This is a Phillies and Mayors 62 handicap over the 1100 meter trip. 20 past one is the off time. Your favourite here is number seven, Jumbo Sana, three to one. Dawn of Gold, three to one. It's thirty-three to ten. My true love, Mediterranean Goddess at nine to two. So six to one into nine to two there. Blueberry Blue, six to one into five to one. De Janeiro, twelve to one into eight to one. And then Bretti is at ten to one. So it's quite a, a competitive uh, market here for race number three, the start of uh, the pick six. And uh, Grant, uh, wh what's your thoughts here? I see Jumbo Sana form update ran third, beaten uh, one and three parts of length on Friday behind Marshmallow. And um, if she runs, she could certainly be uh, a big player. 
Yeah, she's going to be a big player if she runs there. That is the question mark. You know, as I said, Gavin's yard is a little bit flat at the moment. I don't know if it's going to run back to back. We'll just have to look at it. If it runs, it's a player. Mediterranean goddess for me is a big, big runner. There's no doubt. I actually make it the, my, my first tip in this race. The Cactus Yard are, are doing very well. Eldon's riding out of his skin at the moment and putting in a lot of work and he's, he's get, reaping the results from it. Um, so, yeah, Mediterranean goddess. And you've got the two Cliffy Miller horses. I think he prefers Blueberry Blue uh, coming out of the maidens. But it's a it's a very weak field, and, and you know just about any it's, anything can win it. It's a, a field in the pick six. Dawn of Gold's another horse that's um, down in class and uh, back to, to the 1100, which is probably going to benefit her. But she's going to be lumping 61 kilos. And then there's a horse like My True Love with Richard on it can can uh, fill up the quartets. I'm tipping at six, one, four, and seven, but field in the pick six. Yeah, Mediterranean Goddess has been a touch of early support, 6-1 to one into 9-2. to two, And uh, let's see how this uh, fully goes in race number 3. Moving along to race number 4, this is an MR64 handicap. And this is over 1,300 meters, the start of jackpot 1. 1,355 is the off time for race uh, 4. And uh, your favorite here is number 9, War Launcher, 28-10. to 33-10, to 10, Cruisador, 4-1. to one. Morning Chess, 9-2, to two, Million Dollar Girl. And then it is 5-1. to one. And better ball though. Scratch numbers one and four. And uh, this was uh, born in chess. Well, he was a winner on Friday, beating Travel Master. So whether he takes his place, that is a question mark. But if he does, well, then uh, I'm not sure. Will he have a penalty to carry or, or not? Yeah, he does carry. He will get the penalty. I think he got two points. He's up to. He's going to be carrying 61 kilos. Uh, the way he won on Friday, he won a very, very good race, and he beat a, a far stronger field in this that he's running against now. So, uh, uh, if if he takes his place, he's definitely the horse to beat. Richard up uh, seven draw bit of a question mark but it's not a very big field cruiser doors doesn't know how to run a bad race he's a horse for the place accumulators and then obviously war launch and absolute noir are definite inclusions as well i must say this horse number two magic prince ran on friday tailed off so i doubt very much he will take his place but um, i still think morning chess the way he won um if he pulled up sound and he takes his position here he's going to be another hard horse to beat i'm tipping at five six nine and ten Five, six, nine, and ten, the numbers in race number four for Grant. Moving along to race number five next, and this will be a run over the 1400 meter trip. Classified stakes, half past two is the off time. Start off uh, jackpot two. Number three, La Pequenita, your 11 to 10 favorite. Uh, Commerson's Passion, seven to two. Corandi, four to one. Five to one, Duke of Orange. And then it is a uh, 10 to one and better by those. Grant, race five, your thoughts? Classified stakes, always um, fillies are definitely well in, and, and I think they'll run first, second, and third year, to be very honest with you. Very shallow field again, La Pequenita, very good post-maiden run. And she, on that post-maiden run against these horses, she's probably going to be very hard to beat. Quirandi, strong front runner. Um, they haven't got a front running jockey on, on board, but um, he's got to be a runner as well. And then Commissant's passion, holding solid form, but has been better on grass than on poly. So, um, shallow race, but I do think La Pequenita is a banker, and she'll be probably followed up by Quirandri, Commissant's passion, and Duke of Orange. Three, four, five, and seven with the three a banker. Yeah, 11 to 10, the price about number three, La Pequenita in race five. Moving along to race number six now. Five past three is the off time for race uh, six. And uh, this is over 2,000 meters. Another classified stakes. Five past three. Favorite here is number four, Kenny Mumbo at 28 to 10. Head Gardner, 33 to 10. Maldano, 9 to 2 into 7 to 2. 9 to 2, turn the beat around. And then you can get 11 to 2 and better bar those. Uh, race number six now. There's uh, only one filly in the race here. Turn the beat around and... Uh, well, actually, two. You've got Sundrop here as well. But, uh, Grant, uh, is this a race where the boys will dominate? I do think the boys will dominate, especially when we get over this kind of trip of 2,000 metres. I make it a boat race between the four, Cunny Mumbo, and the eight-horse Head Gardner. Um, Head Gardner is a horse that goes right up there and tries to steal the race. Uh, I'm sure that the Michelin Yard will have a plan for that. And then you've got Richard Ferry on Cunny Mumbo. Put a line through his last run. He came back with a blood disorder and um, he's definitely spot on now. He's working very, very well, jumping out of his skin. And I make it a boat race between the two of them, the four and the eight. Turn the beat around, will probably run third. And then a horse like Island Master, who's just come out of the maidens but was hard pressed to win it, is going to probably run third or fourth. I'm tipping at four, eight, one and seven. 
Yeah, four and eight, the top two picks here for Grant. So they are the ones that dominate in the fixed odds at Pestin Market. Race number seven next, and this is at 1540 over 1600 meters. It's an MR63 handicap. And uh, your favorite in uh, race number seven is number four, Eat, Pray, Love at eight to ten. Seven to two, Great Times, four to one, Breedy Baby, eight to one, and Better Ball. Those number one, Union Rose is scratched. So it's a field of uh, seven runners now that remain. And... Uh, Eat, Pray, Love finished sixth last time out, but um, at eight to ten, she's uh, she's certainly at very restrictive odds here, Grant. No, nah, ludicrous, absolutely ludicrous. I don't know what they're marking up on there. To be honest with you, got beaten quite convincingly last time out in a merit rate at sixty-two. This is a sixty-three. I, I got, and it's against the boys as well. It's not going to be easy for her. Got my value bet on the day. I think the horse is at twenty to one. Number eight, Captain's Walk from the Kelly Mitchell yard. Um, I've been following this horse. He just needs to get a positive ride, and and he'll and he'll run a massive race. He really will. In a field like this, he will not surprise me to win a twenty to one at all. I prefer Bria a baby to eat, pray, love, and if Kendall can get her to settle, and that has been a, po a problem when since they've been going a trip, she's going to run a big race. And Great Times is also in with a big, big chance as well from the Jacques Stratum yard from a six draw. Uh, I'm tipping at eight, six, two, and then four, and I really think that eat, pray, love is far too short in the betting. 20 to 1, the price about number 8, Captain's Walk, could be the find of the day here in race number 7 out at Fairview. Captain's Walk, let's see how he goes here for Alden Weber and Kelly Mitchley. Race number 8, and this is at quarter past 4. This is a conditional maiden for fillies and mares that will wrap up proceedings for us. 1600 meters is the distance, and uh, your favorite here in race number 8 is uh, number 1, Global Scene at 18 to 10. Number six, Sierra Sky, two to one. Royal Venus, three to one. And then it is seven to one. And better ball, those Beijing Boulevard is scratched. So it's a field of uh, eight that remain. Now, Grant, it is a lucky last. Uh, your thoughts? Um, not too bad this race is I think there's only three horses that can win it the one global scene the four Royal Venus and then the six Sierra Sky um, I'm definitely in the camp of Sierra Sky I think she's progressing nicely she's having her third run in PE third run in poly and uh, Sean got off last time and said put it in a mile and she'll win they've got Richard up uh, I think she's worth a bet at two to one uh, the biggest danger is obviously global scene I think she would have been better on the on on the grass and then obviously Royal Venus with the weight off her back but I do think that yard prefers the, the one-horse global scene. I'm um, quite strong in the camp of Sierra Sky. I'm tipping at 6-1-4 and then 7 for Smarky from the Cliffy Miller yard. who's having its first run here coming in from Cape Town. Yeah, number seven, Forest Marky could certainly be a big improver in race number eight. With the two draw, Marco aboard and the blinkers go on. So that could see this fully showing significant improvement on our overall form. We're going to move along to the suggested bet now. And Grant will take us through his suggested bet for racing on Monday out at Fairview. Grant, take it away. Thank you very much, Rahil. Best bet race one, number five, Crimson Comet. The value bet race seven, number eight, Captain's Walk. And the suggested bet, the place accumulator, is as follows. We open up with two and five, by one and six, by five and six, by banker three, by four and eight, by four and eight, by one and six for 64 rand. 64 round value bet there, Captain's Walk, race number seven. That's the horse that uh, I think uh, will certainly shorten uh, and uh, won't start 20 to one, that's for sure. Grant, thanks very much for your time. All the best. Have a wonderful Sunday and enjoy the week ahead. Thank you very much, Rahil, and good luck to those punters tomorrow. Goodbye. All the best with racing on Monday out at Fairview.